Hey guys, so we have some updated stuff about the new painting parking spots. So it is now going to be $50 to paint your parking spot. This does not include the $20 that you do have to pay to buy your parking spot. So we're going to have it where there's applications in the front, front office. So what you do is you get the application and you have to fill that out. You do not bring your payment to the school. You do have to go online to the Wilson County page in Mount Julia High School under the payment method and you will be paying online to paint your parking spot along with buying your parking pass. Everything payment wise is going to be online but you still do have to bring a application to the school. We've added some new dates uh, to paint your parking spot. We now have July 8th, 13th, 15th, and 20th. You will be able to paint between 8 a.m. and 12 p.m. The paint that you need to buy is exterior, exterior latex based paint, so uh, it's not $90. Some of the bigger cans are, but you can go in with your friends and buy those together and share. Uh, as long as you're not using aerosol paint, uh, it's okay. And then all the painted spots will be grouped together, so you will have a better spot if you get a painted spot. Just make sure that you get those applications in, but you do pay online, because if you turn in an application and you don't pay online, you will not be able to pay, paint your spot. Now, our club is doing some other things, so if you'd like to talk to them about them painting your spot for you, they have a whole separate thing, but this is if you want to paint your spot yourself. Welcome back to WBNN Channel 9 News. I'm Addie. And I'm Jordy. And this has been the longest week ever. Uh, now for news. MCJ ROTC Cadet Anthony Cash has been presented with a $2,000 Military Officers Association of America Scholarship and JROTC medal at an awards luncheon hosted by the General Andrew Jackson MOAA chapter. Major Dan Sullinger presented the award. Anthony's parents were also there, along with Miss Rainey and Major Intelli. Lieutenant Colonel Cash competed against four other top cadets from Wilson Central, Lebanon, McGavick, and Hunters Lane. All cadets received the medal, but Anthony Cash was the top performer to win the $2,000 scholarship. This year's yearbook, titled For a Change, is almost here. If you've not already purchased the yearbook, you can order at yearbookforever.com. Distribution day is going to be May 13th, so make sure to pick up your book that day. The yearbook team will be passing out the book during lunch on Monday the 13th. If you are in dual enrollment, you can get your book in second block on that day. The yearbook team says they will not come and find you if you don't pick up your book. If you have questions, go to B103 during second or third block. Senior Night 2019 is tomorrow at 7 p.m. in the theater. Come see Class of 2019 presenters award this year's senior superlatives and enjoy senior performances in singing, art, and monologues. This is a major event and everybody is invited. Friends, family, students, and community. Admission is $5, but faculty and staff get in free. Congratulations to the March Teacher of the Month for MJHS, Ms. Amber Gross. Ms. Rainey says Ms. Gross works hard to prepare her students and goes over and above each day to help. Also, congratulations to MJ's April Teacher of the Month, Ms. Kelton. Ms. Rainey says there are not words for how hard she works with her students each day and every day. And, and the only other word to say is prom. Speaking of teachers who are excelling in their fields, Ms. Grossman received a very significant honor recently. Check it out. So Tuesday night, April 30th, uh, I was recognized as a Country Music Association Foundation's Music Teacher of Excellence. And there were 30 people total that were recognized. Ms. Rainey and her husband uh, also came. It was super nice, extremely um, well decorated and just, just very classy, very neat. The pudding was the best. I had two puddings. <laughs> they gave us a medal that has my name on the back of it. Uh, Dirk Bentley was the host. Every table had a country music artist seated at the table. Dirk Bentley also recognized me individually and that he, I was not alone and that they, they saw me. And sometimes as teachers we feel very isolated. That whole night just made me feel like a superstar. My ultimate goal is for students to reach that level of accomplishment, whether it's little accomplishments, big accomplishments, but constantly feel that improvement and know that what they're doing is making a difference. I really want to connect with students and they see that and I, I genuinely care about my kids. 
it's it's beyond just music. She she doesn't just teach, and she spends so much time and energy and love just pouring into her students and making sure, to her own detriment, making sure that they get everything that they need to be better. And I hope somebody puts that kind of love into my child. Um, she's the teacher that I would want my kids to have. The Mount Juliet High School Band of Gold will perform their spring concert on Thursday, May 9th at 6.30 p.m. in the theater. The concert band will perform some band standards like Stars and Stripes Forever, as well as some music everyone will recognize, including selections from How to Train Your Dragon and the Tennessee Waltz. The jazz band program features a variety of musical styles and will feature vocalist Evan Revis singing an arrangement of Fly Me to the Moon. And they will end their portion of the performance with Africa by Toto. Come on out, support your band, and hear some great music in the process. The Golden Bears baseball team finished the regular season 22-11 and 9-5 in District 9 AAA. By beating Rossview 6-5, MJ tied for second in the district with Station Camp and Beach. But due to tiebreakers, Mount Juliet will be the number four seed in the tournament. The baseball team will play against Wilson Central in the first round of the district tournament Saturday at 11 at Drakes Creek Park. If you want to see the entire district tournament... Uh, if you want to see the entire district tournament schedule, go to mjsportszone.com. The softball team was defeated by Wilson Central 5-3 on Wednesday night. Last night's game was canceled due to field conditions. Senior Moo Alpha Theta members can pick up graduation cords and see 113 from Mrs. Wallace by the end of the day on Friday, May 10th. Earlier this week, several of our track and field athletes competed in the Great 8 Invitational Meet hosted by Vanderbilt University. The Great Eight is a highly competitive meet that takes the top eight fastest runners from public and private schools in all of Middle Tennessee to race against each other. Jordan Stromquist, Aaliyah Brown, Allie Johnson, Abria Burks, Reagan Grimes, Colby Martin, Michael Rutland, Christian Donatelli, Jamari Sal, and Henry Griffin all competed in this premier event. The track team is also competing today at the subsectional meet, so be sure to wish those athletes good luck if you see them today. In other sports news, the Tennessee Titans visited the Golden Bears at our indoor facility on Wednesday. Here's Coach Carver with more. Whenever you get a chance to have anybody um, with the program or the Tennessee Titans to come in and just talk, I mean, that, that's a great opportunity for us coaches and, and the kids involved. So it was really good. Like say, we had about six players and we had a couple cheerleaders and a couple coaches come with, and they just talked about their journey of – what it took for them to get to where they're at and just about the adversity that they hit, the struggles, and I mean the good times. And I mean, any time for us or the kids to be able to sit there and hear someone who's at the highest level in their profession, I mean, that's great. Uh, Rashad Evans was talking about at his time at Alabama, freshman, sophomore year, no playing time. I mean, he's at the top of the top, he's at Alabama. And Rashard Evans was a five-star recruit coming out of high school. So, I mean, he was a big dog, but there's bigger dogs where he was at. So it was great as far as listening to him, almost having, having to go through that and be humble. And he even talked about his first reactions was, why am I getting playing time? Why am I not getting this? And then all of a sudden it took him to be able to take a step back, look within and say, what what do I got to do to make sure that I'm doing my best job to put myself in a position to succeed? And I mean, players need to hear that because it's not always going to be easy. I mean, the things that are easy in life don't really come with high reward, but the things you really got to work for and day in and day out to get that reward, that's when, you know, it's most successful. That's, that's when you enjoy it the most. You cannot not be there and come away with something out of that. So it was a great, it was a great experience. For that's all for your news today. I'm Addie. And I'm Jory. And here at WBNN, we're in touch. So you're in touch. Have, Have a, a fantastic, fantastic Friday, Friday, MJ. Yeah, 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 yeah.